Highway plans are a way to communicate the thoughts of a designer. Each symbol on a set of highway plans is important to the engineer, the technician, or the person who uses the plans. Symbols and abbreviations are necessary to understand what the plans mean. And fortunately, there's a con the conventional symbols and abbreviations are provided in the design plans. So we'll take a look at an example here. So this is the conventional plan sheet symbols, and they're in a variety of areas, boundaries and property, buildings and culture, hydrology, railroads, right of way, roads and related features, vegetation, structures, utilities. So lots of information. And this is where we go to look to identify if we see a symbol in the design plans and we don't know what it means, we can come here into this sheet to see what that symbol means and help us understand the design plan. So anytime you're stuck, if you don't understand what a symbol means, turn to this sheet to look for these conventional symbols and abbreviations to, to better understand what things mean. So I'm gonna take a specific look at a couple of elements here. The cut and fill part of the proposed slope stakes. And I think this is one of those elements that can sometimes be overlooked. And I think it does have a lot of value when you're looking at design plans. So looking at an actual plan sheet here, we see a roadway, a proposed roadway, and I'm gonna focus us in on the line that's associated with the, the slope stakes. And so we see the C associated with this line here. So these are the cut sections in the, this is a cut section related to our roadway with the slope stakes. And then we move along, we see some Fs. So those are for the fill. So those sections are in fill and then back to cut so we can, use those to help us understand what does that cross section look, even though we're looking from the plan view, it gives us some idea of what's going on from a cross section perspective and even slightly from a vertical curve, from a vertical alignment perspective, because we know how does our roadway relate to the existing terrain? Are we in a section where we're gonna be cutting the existing terrain or are we gonna be filling in uh, to bring our roadway to the proper height? So again, just an example here of a couple of symbols. If you had seen the C and the F on this design plan, maybe you didn't know what that was, you could go back to that conventional symbol sheet and understand what those mean. 